Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ashley with Ashley Marie Plans. I wanted to jump on here today because this is something I get asked about all the time. Um, I call this my Misfit Sticker Binder. And this is where I put all my stickers from kits that I've used that I didn't end up using like the full amount. So perfect example was a couple weeks ago, I posted this picture of my beautiful spread using Cat Sticker Studio. This is like her old uh, format of how she had these stickers, but um, I did not use nearly all of these. I could probably not take these off and plan a whole nother week in them. <laughs> but I have so many kits right now that I'm just gonna go ahead and add this to my Misfit sticker pile. So this is my monthly, this is from Fern Creek Stickers. This is my month of May layout. And um, I didn't use all those, so I'm gonna add those. Um, same thing for April. I did not use all of them for April. I definitely used like the header, the date covers, and then I actually didn't use a single one of these. I used some other stickers that I had. Sometimes for the month, I don't like them to be like appointment stickers. Like I don't like need them to have this. I would almost rather it just be all blank. So that's, I think, why I end up not using them. I actually took this one out to use it and I didn't use it because I don't, I don't really like the square there. So I love her headers. Um, I love the circles, but I don't find myself using those. I definitely use the, the little asterisks more this month than I did, or last month than I did this month, but, or for the month of April, whatever. So this is for my petite planner. I am going to be honest, I didn't do much in my petite planner this, uh, for the month of April. I literally just put this in and I don't even think I bought the date covers. I should probably go back and fill this in because I do like to go back and look at a pretty month. So I actually might not put that one in right away, those stickers, but oof, again, Easter week. Um, I just had like too many options here or something. Um, this one from Fern Creek Stickers came in the Misfit grab bag. Um, and I had actually already bought the full Easter kit. So I just had like an extra one of these. So it ended up just, it just worked out nicely. But now I have all these ones that I didn't use. I'm going to save all of the extra dates that I have, date covers that I have, and just kind of figure out what I want to do with those because I have not like a lot to where I could probably make like a whole new month of stickers, like to have extra date covers, but I don't, I don't know. I have a lot, like it's an annoying amount a lot, but then I don't have enough. I don't think, I don't know. I don't know. Mercy. I'm going to just put those to the side. This was um, a kit from Cat Sticker Studio. I think this was the... Easter week so I used almost all of that I just had a couple left over so instead of throwing this away because there's some good stickers on there I'm gonna put it in my misfit here so this was this week actually that I just did um, for the week that we're in and then this one was for February I think this is for my petite planner for February so I obviously just have a couple left this one was for March. I used some of them, but not all of them. So I think I actually might do a page of these petite ones all together. So I have this one. Maybe I'll wait until I do the May one and combine, see what I end up using out of the April one. I have one for May as well. So maybe when I'm done filming this, I might go do my May one real quick and just see what I have left over, fill those back in, and then just maybe make a whole page of misfits for my petite daily. Um, all right, and then this was leftovers from this week that I just did, so I'm gonna add these all together. So, I know that I've shared this before, but it's something that I get asked all the time about is how how I do this, or um, let me straighten this, so it really bothers me, sorry. So, the, I have a lot of pages. So these pages are essentially just these with everything off of it. So let me show you how I get to it. So I have these are all my scripts. These are all from Cat Sticker Studio. So if I ever am doing, if I ever like wanted to come in here and let's just say I have a lot of fall ones in here. So let's just say I was like, oh, I'm going to use my fall kits, but I don't really have a lot of scripts. I can just flip back here and be like, okay, I can grab a couple of these work ones, coffee time, grocery time. So I have my script stickers here. I started out with this page, entire page being full. So you'll see some scripts throughout here as well. So these are... Cat Sticker Studio ones. These are like a lot of fall stuff because this is, I did this in January. I was, as we were coming out of the holidays is when I first started this. So then I added, I didn't have a ton of Christmas, but I did have some. Uh, this is a little bit of Planner Kate. Again, a lot of fall stuff. 
More fall. These are really could be used for anything. More fall. Fall. This was one of Kat's Sticker Studio um, birthday. This birthday. What is this? His birthday. Birthday. And then on the back, I think it's the New Year's kit. And then I kind of stopped labeling these, I think, after here because they did kind of start to get mixed in. So this is again, I mean, this is technically one of Planner Kate's fall stickers, but uh, fall sticker kits, but you can use these asterisks, the boxes for anything. I've been using these boxes in the teacher planner lately, uh, but you can literally use them for anything. And I like that I have a ton of like one color, so I don't feel like I have to follow a color scheme. These are, I think these are like my February kits, like my winter one into February kits from Planner Cat, or Planner Cat, Cat Sticker Studio. It's my Valentine's Day one. Look how beautiful those, I love this font that she used for these kits. All right, this kind of, I think that ends most of my uh, Cat Sticker Studio. This goes into Planning Made Easy. I did not know this at the time, but these come off, like this is specific to the kind of stickers that she uses. So if I try to take this off for cats, these come off fine on this side. Like a little, they're a little harder to take off the back, which is what I'm noticing. I didn't realize that at first. So I kind of stopped using the backs, the back of these papers. I don't know what kind of paper Planning Made Easy uses, but they, they come off the front fine, but I pretty much ruined these kits. So they do not come off the back very easily at all. So if you have Planning Made Easy, like, I don't know if you can hear that, but yeah, that's just gonna rip. Like, so any stickers from Planning Made Easy on the back of this are just ruined. So I'm so sad because this was such a pretty kit and I bought this like in one of her clearance sales and I'm never gonna be able to buy that again. But you see that, like, I don't know what it is about. It's just, her kits are the only ones that I've had a problem with it, um, unless I'm lying. Yeah, no, this is, um, Coffee Monsters Go. Um, this is again another planning made easy one, and I guess that one, that single one, might come up all right, but just not my favorite. So I, I'm so mad that I didn't test it out. I just didn't really think that her paper was that much, her sticker paper was that much different than everybody else's, but it is. I don't know if you can see that, but that clearly ripped there. These are all planning made easy, so I'm really sad about that. Then we go into. Uh, Burn Creek stickers. So this is um, a leftover of one of my March kits. Another March kit and I'm trying to decide what I want to do with this. So I didn't realize that I had another one of these or else I would have probably done a better job to combine it on here. And I haven't tested whether or not her stickers will unstick from the back. So actually let me try that real quick. So let's see. Yep, they come off fine. So I actually will probably do that later. Ooh, I just don't know if I wanna like transfer all this over there cause it is gonna make it like stick less. So I think I just learned my lesson that these, the kind of sticker paper that she uses will take, come off of the backs of these. All right, so I have one blank sheet of paper. So I'm gonna get started with my cat sticker studio stuff first. Oh, that page ripped, so maybe I'll wait. So these were leftover stickers from a Planner Kate kit from those fall ones that you saw. So I do have some with just leftover numbers on it. So I have all of these in the back that are not being used. I'm gonna take those out so that I have them. Oh, I don't start my days with Sunday, so I don't know why that's in there. Must have been something I'm not using. So what, that paper, okay, so this one's ripped. I don't, I don't do that, I can't do that. I'm gonna throw that away. All right, so we're gonna get started. I'm gonna just put in one of my new pieces of paper. I'm gonna move these blank ones out of the way. And I'm gonna get started with the kit that I just, eat. well, you know what? So I'm gonna separate these out. So I'm gonna, it's not that they have to be like by brand, but I, I do kind of prefer that just because then they all stay within like the same size. kind of separate them out by um, by brand. So I'm gonna start with this one because this, these are Kat's old stickers. So you can see that there's like a difference in her brand, I guess you could say. So these are the new kits and then these are the old ones. So I'm gonna start with this one because it has more. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just like kind of giving myself options if I'm like really not feeling, you know, buying some new kits. Actually, I'm gonna take this out. If I didn't want to buy like new kits or like if I just feel like using a whole kit or honestly if I just felt like decorating my work planner more than usual or if I just you know wanted to let my daughter have some of these stickers then like I just wanted to be able to 
um, grab these and just not have to think much about it. First impression, you OPN. We should be close to friends. If you OPN, engaging you on my agenda. Request my chariot, get ya. The doors OPN, take the hot road and hop in. First impression, you OPN. We should be close to friends. If you OPN, engaging you on my agenda. Request my chariot, get ya. The doors OPN, take the hot road and hop in. First impression, you OPN, we should be close to friends. If you OPN, engaging you on my agenda. Request my chariot, get ya. The doors OPN, take the hot road and hop in. First impression, you OPN, we should be close to friends. If you OPN, engaging you on my agenda. Request my chariot, get ya. The doors OPN, take the hot road and hop in. Monarch butterflies, you should open up. I'm trying to put your heart together, found it broken up. Going up a smoke, smoking up. Make sure the children in the house, she's inappropriate. The way she's approaching us, I disassociate. Exfoliate, the renegotiate. She's closing up. Come to visit me, she said that she the loneliest. And it's hard to open up. Open you up like a pokeball. Open up. Tear you out for a pokeball. Let your emotions walk fall on me. Open up. Open up. Open you up like a pokeball. Open up. Tear you out for a pokeball. Let your emotions walk fall on me. Open up. Open up. Need to deep breathe hard and complications. Open up. Need to breathe, breathe, I work out. Contemplation over our situation. Open up. You OPN. Bitch, you won't be BM. We should be closer than friends. If you OPN, engaging you on my agenda. Request my chariot, get ya. The doors OPN, take that hot road and hop in. You OPN, bitch, you won't be BM. We should be closer than friends. If you OPN, engaging you on my agenda. Request my chariot, get ya. The doors OPN, take that hot road and hop in. Open up, up, open up, shut it down like a Macintosh. Open up, open up, open up, open Impression, you OPN, we should be close to friends. If you OPN, engaging you on my agenda. Request my chariot, get ya. The doors OPN, take the hot road and hop in. First impression, you OPN, we should be close to friends. If you OPN, 
Engaging is on my agenda. Request my chariot, get ya. The doors open. Take the hot road and hop in. First impression, you open. We should be closer than friends. If you open, engaging is on my agenda. Request my chariot, get ya. The doors open. Take the hot road and hop in. Monarch butterflies, you should open up. I'm trying to put your heart together, found it broken up. Going up and smoke, smoking up. Make sure the children in the house, she's inappropriate. The way she's approaching us, I disassociate. Exfoliate, the renegotiate. She's closing up. Come to visit me, she said that she the loneliest. And it's hard to open up. Open you up like a pokeball. Open up. Tell you out for a pokeball. Let your emotions walk, fall on me. Open up. Open up. Open you up like a pokeball. Open up. Tell you out for a pokeball. Let your emotions walk, fall on me. Open up. Open up. Open up. You open. Hit you on BBM. We should be closer than friends. If you open. Engaging is on my agenda. Request my chariot. Get ya. The doors open. Take that hot road and hop in. You open. Hit you on BBM. We should be closer than friends. If you open, engaging is on my agenda. Request my chariot to get ya. The doors open. Take that hot road and hop in. You open, hit you on BBM. We should be closer than friends. If you open, and take that hot road and hop in. Open up. Open up, open up, open up, open up. Cold as ice and cold love. Open up. All right, so something else I just thought about was, uh, you know, earlier I was saying that I didn't know what to do with these during the month. I guess if you had some months that corresponded in color, you could always, like, if you had a car appointment, maybe you could put that in the box there. Or if, like, you wanted to mark your paydays. I don't know. We have, between my husband and I, we have four paydays, so I'd need more than one. But I guess you could write it in there. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of ways that I could use these because clearly the last month, or this was April, and May looks exactly the same. I just don't necessarily like the times on there. I guess it doesn't really... Well, for me, like, if I, even if I have a doctor's appointment, I don't need to write that I have a 4.30 doctor's appointment because really in the monthly glance, or monthly view to glance or whatever you want to call it, I'm just looking for what I have going on for that month. I don't necessarily need to know, I don't know, what time it's at when I'm looking at it like that. But that's just, that's just me personally. But All right, so there's another kit. Took two kits, put it into one. I am going to hold off on this one. I don't know what I want to do with those numbers yet. I probably, honestly, with all the things that I do save, um, that's probably one of the ones that I probably is not like a necessary thing to save, but I don't know. I'm gonna put all those to the side. another blank sheet so these are smaller so I could start to save these for maybe Fern Creek's extras but it doesn't really matter I got another one of these all right so I'm probably going to stop talking again so I can put all this together real quick and then um, move on for you guys
All right, so that's it. Um, I think that I will just leave this like this because if this continues, I'll probably have more for June um, that I'll put right here. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of leave that as it is. I was going to, well, like I told you guys earlier, I'm gonna go back to my April month and I'm gonna, in my petite planner, I'm gonna see if I wanna add any more of these to it. That way, oh wait, no, that's March. March and February are done, April. I'm gonna see if I can add any of April's. I'm wondering if my daughter put something on here. What, the stickers look a little weird. So I'm gonna see if I can do anything with this and then do my May one. And then once I'm done with that, I'll have May, hopefully less, and less of these, I'll add another page here i'm just now i'm nervous to do anything on the back now just because of what happened to my other stickers but honestly these ones were fine so i really should just start putting them on the back here so maybe maybe the next kit that i have left over i'll, I'll do on the back side of here and then oh i skipped one um so maybe for these ones i'll do the petite the petite stickers on the back side here all right guys that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this flip through of my misfit binder i hope you guys Maybe you can take something from it and maybe help stop wasting some of the stickers that you have. I don't know. I felt like it was a giant waste of my money to like throw those away. So hopefully you learned something. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to be alerted to my new videos or anything like that. And I will see you next time. Thank you guys.